Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to be covering a dissolve material effect. Um, it's something similar that you can be seen in my game Technoball. Um, it's quite simple, we're only going to need one texture and then we're just going to do a lot of maths to, to make this work. Now, the texture that we're going to need is just an alpha, so just a grayscale image. I have this one here. Yay! This is just clouds rendered in Photoshop. And I'm going to right click, material, dissolve underscore M. I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to hold 3 for a 3 vector to plug it into base color. I'm going to make this ever so slightly lighter than pure black. It's because pure black is sometimes a lot harder to test things on. So you don't get any, any shadow to it. Because it's just black. Now I'm going to hold 3 again and left click and I'm going to convert this to a parameter. This is going to be glow color. And I'm just going to default this personally to green because that's my favorite color. Now I'm going to drag in the dissolver. And now we're going to start building some parameters and doing all the maths that we need. So I'm going to hold S and left click to make a scalar parameter. I'm going to call this dissolve amount. And I'm going to leave this at zero, and we're going to use this to control how much dissolve amount we have. I'll hold S and left click again for a new parameter, and call this one fringe. We're going to start this out at 25, and we're going to use this to determine how big the actual dissolve area is, so how big the fringe will be. From fringe, I'm going to divide, and I'm going to divide this by 100. Then hold A and left click for an add, and I'm going to add the dissolve amount to the divide. Now from dissolve amount, I'm going to drag off and get an if. And now on the if, I'm going to say if A is greater than B, then this. And hold 1 and left click for a constant, just leave this at 0, and plug it into B, A equals B, and A less than B. Now from this, we're going to drag off and we're going to create another if. Now take our color and we're going to say if A is greater than B then this color and in B we're going to use the alpha so take the red channel from the alpha and plug this in and then in the A and the B we're just going to use a 3 constant and leave this black and plug this into A equals B and A less than B. Now what we're going to do is we are going to hold M and left click for multiply, plug this in, I'm going to create another scalar parameter, I'm just going to call this emissive amount. I'm going to plug this into B and I'm going to just default this to 50, it's quite a lot. And now put this into emissive, there we are. Now. I'm not sure whether or not we can test this, but if we change this to 0.2, do we get any dissolve? We do not, not yet. But you can see, you can hit, you can see some some black. I'm sorry if you can hear my roommates in the background, but they're chatting right outside my room. I'm going to change this back to zero. And the next thing that I'm going to do is from the emissive amount I'm going to drag off again and get another if and again I'm going to use the alpha in the B and then I'm going to hold one and left click twice I'm going to set the bottom one to a one and leave the top one as a zero I'm going to plug the zero into a greater than B and a equals B and the one into a less than B Okay, I'm just going to quickly drag these back a little. Now again, from dissolve amount, we like this node, we're going to if, we're going to hold one and left click for a, for a, 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 a constant, leave it at zero and plug this into B. Now this if here is going to go into the 
a greater than b. When I left click for another constant, set this to 1, place this into a equals b and a less than b. And now this is going to go into our opacity, so we're just going to quickly change this. So shall we use a masked? Let's plug this into opacity mask. If we change the dissolve amount now, do we get some dissolve? We gain some dissolve. Now I'm going to turn the emissive amount down because that's very, very high. 10. There we are. So you can see it's starting to dissolve. I'm actually going to turn this down even further to 5. I don't know why I wrote 50 down as a as a note. So you can see now that this is starting to to almost melt the material. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my fringe. I'm not liking how high this is. I'm going to change this to 15 really quick. And now you'll notice that the edges are thinner. If we go all the way down to 1, you'll barely be able to see them. There we are. Which is actually quite cool. That's quite sparkly. But I'm going to put this up to maybe 10. That's a default. There we go. And if we change the dissolve amount here, notice that we slowly start to lose more of the material. Okay, so I'm just going to default that back to zero. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to apply this. Oh, one thing I'm going to do is the texture sample, right click this and convert this to a texture drop. Oops, nope, don't do that. Convert it to a parameter. Now in the name, I'm just going to call this dissolve. Oops, come on, dissolve mask. There we are. I'm going to apply this and save. Okay. Now with that saved, we can come out of there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on him and I'm going to create a material instance. And this will let me control everything through the parameters that we set up. So let's just quickly set this to 0.1 and we're going to change this glow to a red color. I can just type the values in, there we are, red. I prefer green, can't help it. Save that. Now, oh, change this back to zero because I wanted to start at zero and I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to grab my little dude and I'm just going to put the dissolve instance on my guy. Oop, there we are. Now this is going to look a little bit weird on his chest piece because he has a different material here because I don't know why he has a different material there. I know he has a logo in his default shader. So yeah, now you can see he's just got this, this black material on him. If I go into here and I decide I want him to be 0.1 dissolved. Oh no, he's dissolving. You see that? It's quite nifty. Now I'm going to set this back to zero. And I'm going to go into classes and I'm going to make a trigger volume. I'm going to put it here next to this cube so that I know where it is in the level. Now I'm going to go into the level blueprint and create reference to trigger volume, which is done by right clicking and then just selecting it from the top if you already have it selected in level. So you see here, I'll grab the character, right click and reference to this character. Yay! So, now what we're going to do, in fact, no, I'm going to click the trigger volume, go in here, and then I'm going to right click and on overlap. Do -do -do -do. On active begin overlap. I can delete this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, I'm going to get material from the mesh. I'm also going to get material for element index one because he has two materials on him. Now from here I'm going to set 
is scalar parameter value. You're not going to go in there, are you? Nope. Okay, so we'll get rid of that really quick. So we'll delete those. Create dynamic material instance. Plug this in. We want element zero and the source material we are going to set to our dissolve underscore m and now I'm just going to copy and paste this I'll connect this and change the index to 1 plug the mesh into here and that should be all fine now now from here I'm going to add a timeline and inside the timeline by double clicking it up here on the F to add a float track I'm going to make this last for 20 seconds now right click and add a key at zero I want the value to be zero and at right click add key 20 I want the value to be one I'm just going to go in and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to use a set it and again at this end I'm going to use a set this and I'm actually just going to Ooh, where does that think it's going? I'm just going to quickly change the curve ever so slightly. No, I don't want that kind of curve. Come on, you get back up there. Down. Tell you what, let's just auto it. There we are, nice. So it's going to start off slow and then it's going to gradually get quicker towards the end. Now what I'm going to do is from either of these material instances drag off of the return value and set scalar parameter value. I'm going to plug the update pin into here. Parameter name is dissolve amount going to plug the new track that we made into the value. I'm also going to take the return value from the create dynamic material instance for the second part and put that into the target as well because they're using the same dissolve amount. And now that should be all she wrote. So now if we head into here, ooh, he's dissolving. Yay. It's quite slow and that initial burst is very very strong point zero 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 one which makes me think that it starts off that strong all the time <laughs> yes it does see that's going to give us the same 0.1 I believe I know, totally different Curious But if we were to go back into the level, let's play a player back into the level blueprint and we decide that this is actually going a bit too slow as it was we're going to change this to a three second dissolve and change this to three seconds total compile that <coughs> our compilers just compiling the shaders come along now you can do it come on there we are if we head in, ooh, it dissolves. There we are. Which is, yeah, I was going too slow with it. Perhaps if we also changed the fringe. So if we added another float track and we start at zero, zero, and then 
as we approach the three seconds we get to our 15 fringe. We're also going to grab this, place this here, grab both pins, pull this fringe, plug in the second track, and then we shall play this. There we are, much nicer, but we're going to want that fringe to just go ever so slightly quicker because the fringe is too low. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to default this back to one second rather than three, so it all reaches. There we go. Very, very nice. So hopefully this is something that you guys can use. It's a very satisfying uh, material. So yeah, have fun with that and see you next time.